a hurdle. Great for plyometric metric work, great for uh, legs and explosive, uh, explosive movements and things like that. So very, very easy to do, very inexpensive. Mine, I've taken three quarter inch PVC and uh, one, two, three, four, five, six elbows. And very simply, the width of it is, uh, I think I, it looks like I cut it to 24 inches, the top bar. The height is about 35 inches. So by the time you add the elbows in, it's up at about 36 inches total height. And then these down here at the bottom, uh, looks like I cut them to about a, uh, a 10 inch. Now, I would suggest that maybe you, uh, uh, you could make this bottom a little bit longer. What I have found that I have to do out in my yard because of the grass is I have added weight to this bar right here. I took my lead weights that I picked up from the local tire store and filled this up right here so that just sitting it on the grass, it, it takes a little bit more to knock it over. Uh, you can take that same path, you can fill it with sand, you can fill it with about anything you wanted to. But just know that if you cut it the same length for the bottom down here, then uh, it, it could have a tendency to roll over very easily. Keep in mind that you make sure that you have a rounded elbow or some sort of elbow down here because the idea of the hurdle whenever you jump it is if you begin to get tired and you hit the hurdle, you want it to fall over. You don't want it to continue to stand and trip you up. So uh, elbows are less than a dollar, I think maybe 50 or 60 cents, I'm not sure. The PVC pipe you buy in I think nine foot lengths and three quarter inch uh, will probably cost you about a dollar or two. So you can buy several lengths, several elbows and make as many as you like, or you could just buy one and jump it, come around, jump it, turn around, jump it, and do your workout that way.